This is a Love Life Horoscope Tarot Reading for Capricorn from March 17th to 31st, 2022. Let's get to it. What do we got going on for you in the next two weeks? The Emperor. Ooh. The Chariot. Two Major Arcana cards. Three Major Arcana cards. Ooh, this is going to be a big two weeks here for you. You're very much in this energy where something is healing for you. It's it's kind of like this moment that you're going to remember forever. It's it's a dynamic change in your life, but it's it's bringing on this liberation, this freedom. You're freed from something. It's kind of like you're moving away from something that was controlling you. There's an energy here that that was kind of like a big obstacle for you. It was preventing you from leaving, but you're freed from it here. You've learned whatever you need to learn from this emperor energy. I'm not sure if this is a love interest or, or not, because these are all major arcana cards. It seems to me that this is something that you had to go through in order to, to be ready for this, this next evolution for you. Like your, your biggest strength here is your, your liberation, your freedom. Let's clarify the sun energy for you. For this outside element, yearning. For you, humility. Yeah, it's kind of like you're escaping some sort of chain, something that held you back. This... Emperor energy, whoever that is, whatever that is, that wanted, it still wants to keep you from leaving. But this freedom that you're you're having, like it's it's very liberating, but it's kind of like you've in order to get away from this, you needed to it's almost like you you needed to let go of something. Like you're you're leaving with humility. It's kind of like at this cost of leaving this emperor, you had to give something up. Let's clarify. But it, it's still very good. You know, it, it's that energy of such a major liberating transition for you that it's worth whatever you had to give up. You know, these kind of changes, they're meant for, for your betterment. But they're they're never easy with the emperor. It's never easy to this is disassociate yourself from the emperor. But that's what you're doing here. The sun is on you. You're you're in this energy of being protected, even though you you may feel like you're you're a bit vulnerable. Don't worry about it. Let's clarify. Where are you heading towards? What? Let's clarify the sun, this healing energy, this liberation for you. What, what's this about? Four of Pentacles, Six of Cups, and the Ten of Cups. There's someone here that's returning from the past. Twin Flame energy, Six of Cups. It's someone that you... You feel like nostalgia for it. If this is not someone from your past, it's like this nostalgic element. Like you, you've known each other through past lives. It's very beautiful. The sun, the ten of cups. You're moving towards something that that is. It just it feels so right. At the cost of, it's almost like you you know what you're getting into. Like the the way this this next stage in your life starts out, it, it's it's like you cannot depend on the money that you were getting from whatever else was from this emperor energy, perhaps. You're disassociating yourself from it. 
So you, you're very conscious of the money. That's where the humility comes in. You may not have the, the standard of living that you had before, but something very beautiful is coming out as a result of it. It's, I want to clarify this Six of Cups with the Ten of Cups. For this person that's coming in, prudence. For you, obligations. You feel that this is something that you need to do. You need to be liberated. You, you have this beautiful outlook for the future. It's like you, you know who you want to start a family with, who you want to move in with. Prudence, it's, it's almost like this person has come into your life to get this going for you. Like prudence is that energy where you know you have to leave a situation, but you don't do it until, until the right moment comes up, until there's something tangible to move forward with. And it's like now you have this tangibility. So you're able to leave this emperor for, for this twin flame energy. Hmm. Tell us more about this twin flame here that, that's coming in or that has come in. Seems like this has already begun. You may be moving in with them here. Seven or eight of wands, ace of pentacles, and the five of swords. Hmm. They're the ones that, that, that brought your situation into light for you. They're part of the sun energy, the soulmate energy. <clears throat> it's like from them, you may have received word it was a blessing that, that, that they brought into your life that made you almost reevaluate re your situation. Like you, you see through these false beliefs. You see how you were perhaps being manipulated by this, this emperor energy. Whatever has had control over you is, it's not, it does, you're freed from that now. You've already progressed here. And it's as, as a result of this person, the, this twin flame, whoever they are. They could be, they could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Could also be a Leo here. You got some fire energy. But they put things into perspective for you. They brought in this blessing. Let's clarify. Let's clarify this. Eight of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles for them. for them. Tradition, for you, art, beauty. This person has been such a blessing on your life, such a healing energy. It's, it's, actually, it's so beautiful the way that they came in, whatever they said, they said the right thing. Tradition. You may know this person from before. This could be a past life relationship, or you, you may have known them since childhood. There is that tradition here where this person, it's like they know the right things to say to you, perhaps from a past life. Where is this connection going here in the next two weeks? You and this, this water sign or this Leo, where are you guys going? King of Pentacles, ah, Two of Swords, and the Eight of Swords. This is someone, it's, it's this energy where there's a decision that still needs to be made, a reluctant decision on their part. Something that you don't have control over. It's something that they have status, that they have influence in making some sort of decision. Something that, that is hard for them to make here. It's out of your hands a little bit. You may not even be aware of this decision. I wonder if they're, 
the idea is for you to move in with them. Let's clarify this King of Pentacles. For them, constancy, yeah, for you, merits. Hmm. This is a decision that will be very good for you. Tradition, constancy. You're dealing with someone who is very grounded. Like they're, they're, they're very much in control over their, their environment and they're grounded in such a way that they can, they can be the, the fruit bearer for the people around them. Like they can nurture, they, they can take care of, of you. Constancy. A decision that, that still needs to be made here. A decision that would be very good for you. Let's pull a card here for, for them. Fears. There's something that they're scared of. Hmm. In the extended, we'll look into the random love generated questions. Perhaps we'll get a better idea of this decision that still needs to be made by them. I'm getting the sense that they could be asking you to move in with them. Hmm. But we'll look into the, the random questions. The first question is, what initiative will this love interest take towards you? What are the love interest's current intentions towards you right now as you're watching this? How does the love interest view you at the moment? We're really digging deep into this love interest into what they want. I think we're, we're going to get a baseline for this decision because it's something that's been constant, constantly on their mind. Hmm. And we'll look into what are the false beliefs the love interest needs to let go of. Interesting. We know that your, your biggest strength at this time is freeing yourself from this emperor. So that, that's very good for you. But clearly, the extended is all to do with the love interest perspective. So the link for that is down below. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you the best of your choices. Much love.